guys. I need you to just believe in me, okay? I think I can do this. Welcome back to another episode of The Adventures of Gilligan Phantom, which is about turning a school bus into a traveling tiny house. Ridiculous idea. It's gonna be worth it. Okay, I have made some decisions. That right there is a mini split. That's a great spot for it. I think it would be okay, but it would block up a lot of my storage access. Now, another option is I could just mount it to back of the bus. The install is gonna be way easier. Like, what's the path of least resistance? Let's make it fancy, but let's try and do it easy. Let me tell you about the drawbacks to this location. Drawback number one. I don't really know how much noise it makes, but I know that having it above the bedroom window, we're gonna be able to hear it versus over there underneath the bus, not so likely. Drawback number two is that mini splits when they're installed, manufacturer instructions is 10 feet of line set. If I'm gonna mount it out there and I'm gonna mount my inside unit, right there how am i going to get 10 feet of line set well i'm banking on the fact that i can coil enough line set in this space to have the manufacturer um, recommended line set it's a little bit less protected so i don't know it's kind of just a trade-off but after much deliberation this is what i'm going to do so right now i'm going to work on the inside unit i'm going to take down that rear bulkhead and i'm going to mock up where it's going to get installed stay tuned So now we gotta attach this dead center right at the bottom level and it just started raining. Oh boy And now we got to cut this drain hole we're gonna use a two and a half inch hole saw and we're supposed to cut it at an angle You cannot see no hole. I'm trying to decide if I want to cut out access doors on the left and right hand sides. Found these wooden plates that we have and I thought this would might make like a nice organic looking. But how about sleeping and I gotta get her approval. All right, so Val says don't complicate things. Don't make doors. We will have other storage available to us. So for now, I'm gonna screw this thing back in. Chunk of me. That's installed. I don't think Val's gonna like the fact that it hangs down at the bottom a little bit. I might take it off and redo it, but ta-da! Hey guys. All right, I'm sorry, I've been selling you short. I've been installing this mini split without filming it, the condenser, the outside unit. All right, let's talk about it for a second. I'm sorry about my messed up voice. Okay, so I had to, <laughs> uh, I had to take the camera out, I was like, First of all, I'm being a jerk not filming this for you guys. Second of all, look what I'm doing to tighten my bolts because I can't reach the outside and the inside uh, at the same time because of the window. So I put my uh, monkey wrench on here and I screwed it in and now I can't move. So now I can tighten it. Here, check this out. This is so silly. You guys see that <laughs> it's not where this ridiculous story ends because look how i'm tightening it out here i don't have a drive for this three-quarter inch socket just make it work guys what can i say That's pretty funny, right? I think that's funny. Hey guys, I need you to just believe in me, okay? I think I can do this. So you saw 
dummy mounted mini split on the back of the bus. I don't try that. That was stupid of me. Barely had the strength to get that thing up there. I was sick. It weighs like 100 pounds. It was a little bit irrational of me. Moving on. As soon as I got it up there, I was like, I totally did the wrong thing. It should not be up there. I failed to install it because this is just not acceptable to me. I bought this rack as like an add-on to my mini split when I bought it, thinking, you know what? It's like 30 bucks. There's a chance that I'll do this. I didn't research this rack. I just let them send me whatever they have. I don't know what's up with this thing, but you saw that it folds up a little bit as I was putting it up. I thought that these, that when I finished mounting it, it would lock it down. This, this rack is just wrong for this. Even though I've seen it in some pictures of schoolies, you can see that this thing still moves. It's just, it was a bad idea. This mini split, while it cost me like maybe $700, worth like 50 bucks to a scrapper, whether or not it's smashed to pieces on the ground or intact. So somebody could just bring a ladder up to this, unbolt it, and go make 50 bucks, you know, maybe buy some heroin or something. Where we live, <laughs> that's not gonna happen, but someday when we're traveling with this thing, yeah, that, it's just gonna drive me nuts. That in addition to the fact that I'd have to get some new racking system for this, cause like, just look one more time, like, no. I was just trying to take the easy way out. So that thing's coming down. I'm sorry that this is very much to be continued. I've put this project off for a while. I figured until I have AC power on the bus, there's not much point in um, finishing it. Next time you see a video about mini splits, this thing is getting mounted again and it's going underneath the bus. It's probably not even gonna go in a storage compartment. It's gonna go on one side of the gas tank. There's tons of space under there. Sorry that this is not the ultimate mini split install guide. Next time I do this, I'm gonna crush it, I promise. It's gonna be mounted really strong in a great location. I'm gonna get my mini split guy out here to make the connections for me. I'm gonna show you how I run the line set. Um, but for now, you can just use this as an example of maybe something that you don't wanna do and maybe I saved you some time. So thank you for watching. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more content about bus conversions and someday maybe traveling and living in a bus.